Dr. Sherman wrote a new article for the SCP Wiki. This is the non-spoiler announcement video. SCP-5542, titled Cake by the Ocean, is literally about a beach made of cake. The reason why is a mystery. Go check it out on the wiki, and then if you're a member of the wiki, vote and leave your comments in the discussion. But if you're not, leave me a comment here and let me know what you think and if you solved the mystery. Hi, Dr. Sherman. Good afternoon, 425, and how might we be feeling today? I'm great, and he's been helping me a lot. Excellent. I do have a big worry. Oh? What sort of big worry would that be? Well... I know Easter's coming up soon, and I know the site is really hidden. So, is the Easter Bunny going to be able to find her way here, or is she just going to get lost? And then my Easter basket will be empty. Oh, nothing to fear. We have a perfectly adequate Easter basket fulfillment system. You're going to be fine. Oh, that gives me so much hope. <laughs> Thank you. Well, hope is the opiate of the masses, am I right? <laughs> Hmm? If the Easter Bunny comes here, you aren't going to capture her and keep her here as an anomaly, are you? Oh, um, you told me not to lie to her. Tomato with my new knife. Why has God abandoned us? Your request to test the knife for the D-Class has been denied. It's not an experiment if you already know what's going to happen, you sadistic- D-5542, give us eyes on the entity. You have. Nuggies. Oh, okay. Deploy the nugget. Come on, come on, come on. Whew, thank the long boy. Come on back to base. Huh? Oh. 049 is trying to be annoying until I let it have more test subjects. And joke's on you! I love accordion music! So when you ask for the monthly equivalent of Site-42's operating costs for aquatic tactical gear, this is what you meant? You're being reassigned to SCP-3000, and you'll be wearing that. Dr. Sherman from Site-42? Um, I don't know how I got here. SCP Emergency Hotline! Woo! There's a place off Euclid Avenue Where the SCPs will munch on you You had better run, don't try to fight They've got poison teeth and they wanna, you know, bite Oh, like your entire face off Yeah, they wanna bite But seriously, you'll be missed Hey doc, they're stealing your jello child What should I do? Perhaps go get them? Oh, for sure, I'd love that God, this universe is so much better than my old one. I mean, here, we've achieved world peace. The Anomalous is well-known and well-documented. 096's domestication training is going great. What do you mean they don't have Dr. Pepper? Hey, Daniel, this TikTok connoisseur says you're poorly animated. What you think about that? I only said VR per- Relax. Hey, Relax. Huh? Oh, yeah, come on in. I'm just researching new hobbies, you know. Gotta blow off some steam. It never ends. <sighs> Get me Mobile Task Force Delta 7, the spring chickens. We've got a floater at the trampoline park. That's right, that's Not that kind. In my line of work, it's very easy to get desensitized to child abductions. Supernatural creatures love them. They're small, easy to capture. I do it with Dr. Bright all day. But at least this one has some color, some pop, pizzazz. Watch closely as I turn this unsuspecting child I found on the beach into a decline. Note to self, remind Dr. Bright that we are running a research facility, not a daycare. Yes, we've set up a containment site at the location, but researcher Mayday is having a lot of trouble keeping the peace. Like, right now, when the Daniel entity set the toilet on fire for some reason. And Flat Dog is weirdly jacked now. Uh, yeah, there it is, you see? Begin SCP-093 test. The D-Class has entered the mirror. Let us know what you find, and keep an eye out for the unclean. Yeah, you call it horrifying, I call it a Tuesday. What the? Nugget, get control of that demon! Where's he going? Alright, where'd it go? What the? Milk demon! I put that light switch in so you could turn the lights on and off. Not so you could throw light switch raves. Five Nights at Freddy's is not an SCP. But if it were, how would the... Why are they in my office? They're not supposed to be real!
had things like Slenderman, Siren Head, Five Nights at Freddy's, all manner of internet creature. Why are they not SCPs? It's a matter of definition. To be an SCP, you have to have two defining qualities. Quality one is that you have to be anomalous. You have to be not normal. You have to have a power. You need to be a ghost, a monster, a creature, an invisible knife, something that is not baseline normal. Quality two is much more specific. You have to be cataloged in the SCP database. In universe, this is because like science with animals in real life, we haven't discovered them all. They can't be cataloged as SCPs if we haven't found them. The Global Cult Coalition has their own database with different catalogs. Out of universe, this is actually a lot simpler. We don't allow things that are not original to the SCP wiki to be SCPs. Simply put, we don't want to be sued. So they're anomalies, not SCPs. As many of you misunderstood the point of yesterday's video, allow me to state it plainly. Just because it's anomalous doesn't mean it's an SCP. Unless it's listed on scpwiki.com, it is not an SCP. My new favorite phrase in this community, it's anomalous, but not an SCP. Slenderman, it's anomalous, but not an SCP. Five Nights at Freddy's, it's anomalous, but not an SCP. Siren Head, it's anomalous, but not an SCP. That SCP-6789 document that's making the rounds, a forgery, you've been bamboozled. There is now an SCP called Siren Head, but it's about a boat and it's named Siren Head because the author was making a joke. Thank you in advance for helping us combat misinformation and not get the SCP wiki sued. This tweet is from the wiki's official account, read it. I've been informed that the single chicken nugget was only a temporary solution. Oh God. All right, uh, D5542, I'm gonna need you to go procure some more nuggets. Uh, how your nuggets basically, right? Yep. Don't worry, we'll expense it. Oh dear goddess of the nuggies. Delta 12, give me a report, what did you find? Command, the molding on this tub seems to be filled with human teeth. Well, that's disgusting. Oh, hold on. This is downright nightmarish. Hopefully command gives us the okay to get out of here. All right, the higher ups are saying you need to get into the tub. Into it? Are you goddamn kidding me? Fuck that, fuck you. You will be penalized for this insubordination. Good, we're getting out. Has you really been far, even as decided to use Even Go Want to Look More Like? Call 985-655-2500 inside the details for Go Further and Even More Decided to Use. You can really be far as decided twice as much to use and go wish for it. When you decide far even once to use and go want, then get really far even as decided to use and look more like and go after. It's just common sense. Apply today. Did I have a stroke? Dr. Mayday said you wish to speak to me. What? I'll have you know this is highly against regulations, Daniel. I look at SCPs every day, so when I say this one upsets me, I hope you're ready to go for a ride. SCP-198 is an anomalous beverage vessel with three abilities. Ability one is it can shapeshift. Maybe it's a coffee mug, maybe it's a thermos, maybe it's a styrofoam cup. Ability two is teleportation. It wants to be used, so it will teleport to places where other beverage containers are, so you'll pick it up. Ability three is that if you grab SCP-198, it will sear itself to your flesh so it cannot be removed from your hand. SCP-198 begins filling with one or a random assortment of bodily fluids, including but not limited to pus, bile, urine, feces. Data expunged. The holder of the mug begins rapidly dehydrating, only able to gain fluids from the mug. We allow them to self-terminate at that point. SCP staff, containment breach challenge. Blind to it this video and do not look ahead because you don't get a heads up when disaster is going to strike. The rules. No facial coverings. We need to be able to see your entire face. You only get one take. No edits, no effects, no pauses. If you cheat, you have to live with that dishonor. Pass or fail, you have to post your video. Ready? Let's go. Don't blink. It's SCP-173. You're alone in the room. It's 30 seconds until someone can get to the room to save you. Maybe you're good at staring when you can prepare, but this is a surprise drill, so if you fail now, you know what it would be like in real life. Go ahead and try holding your eyes open with your fingers or blinking one eye at a time if you can. But your eyelid muscles are not used to doing that, so under pressure, many people are going to fail. 
If you blink both eyes, you die. After this recording ends, review your tape to see how you did and post with the hashtag I survived 173 or 173 got me. Hey there, Site42 fam. It's come to my attention that not a lot of people know that we have a Site42 SCP merch store. We've commissioned art from multiple artists to make SCP related merch, and we've got stickers for the Site42 channel. And so if you want some SCP merch, as well as helping support the Site42 channel, teespring.com slash stores slash Site42. Thank you in advance, and cheers.